2005 that um, what a really good year. Lovely cool summer and warm autumn really helped to get the keep the acidity there, keep the fragrance there, and then fast ripening with the warm autumn meant that it's really in the red spectrum and tight wines. So this really has quite a closed nose. But, but uh, we've been very clever about the oak use, so the oak is really also quite tight and closed in there. Um, the nose smells of this beautiful Asian spices and, and red cranberries and red cherries and flowery notes, parsley stems. There's a um, little bit of boot polish sort of note coming in to get more air into it. Really um, a bit tight and closed and, uh, and uh, just a little end of cinnamony like uh, clovey oak, which, which really is you know, almost hardly seen. Palette really comes through as the nose suggests. Quite tight, um, but not light. It's quite got a lovely um, full flavour, not, not thick and oily, but just you know lively and flowery and and um, but with plums and um, uh, beautiful spices again there's a bit of pepperiness again on the nose and the palate um, it really kicks in with a life of minerality that minerals out the end have all sorts of soil flavors earth and uh, licorice notes and peaty edges but uh, but really quite lively flowers as well um, the like red cranberry notes and, and um, and yeah, pepper spice. It goes on and on with this lovely fine soil mineral tannin. And uh, it's going to take a little while to open up. It'll probably close up for a little while and then open up. But um, I think it was a great year for dinner. Enjoy.